Hey guys, I'm Ezra and in this Lord of the Rings Rise to War video I'm going to show you a guide about Black Serpent. Right off the bat, let's check out his leader typing. He is considered a strategist, which I think is a pity since we only get plus 25 focus and plus 2 skill points. Imagine if he had the support typing, it would be plus 5 skill points. I don't feel the poison and burn damage increase by 10% at all, this isn't what he is specializing in. I think the ideal typing for him would be leader. The second typing he can make use of is, in my opinion, support. Plus 5 skill points, there's the difference and just as I mentioned we don't really feel the increased elemental damage over here. But the more skill points he can get, the better. Black Serpent has lots of skills that make sense. Unfortunately, we lack high respect level to complete all of those skills. But let's move forward with his attributes. Don't be misguided, at first glance you might think that Focus is his main stat. It is just the highest right now for him. But what he really wants is Might. Might is his number one attribute and then Focus. Why am I saying this? Well. The more strength, the more might, the more damage we deal, right? So that is the first reason. Second reason, focus. There is only one skill in Black Serpent's skill set that scales with focus, being his self-sustain on respect 5, resupply. And that's it. So these two reasons are for me already enough to focus on might and then keep also focus in mind. This is the gear I have right now, the gigantic hammer. Superior Hauberg, Easterling Helm, and Wizard's Firework with Hunter's Mark. So, let's jump over to his skills and see what this guy is all about. Quick overview, let's start with his respect, zero talent to the bottom. So, Horn of Harad, I think one of his main skills, like the main strength of the Black Serpent, he is providing strong burst damage with this talent, because for the first three rounds, if you have maxed it out, for the first four rounds you get a certain percentage increased damage that scales down as the battle continues but still very strong mechanic then we have flat physical damage mitigation over here high alert always nice to have this is elemental damage coverage and on evil side he is the only commander that has access to it usually this is something you would be seeing on good side but he he has elemental damage coverage which come in handy against Oathbreakers, Keepers or Commanders that deal lots of focus damage by themselves, such as Galadriel or Gandalf the White. So just in case we have this as protection against that. Then his top respect zero title is Fire Dancer. I don't think that this is great, it just turns the commander's damage to burn damage, but good side has so much elemental damage coverage that I wouldn't recommend going into this tree. Powder Keg is kind of behaving in the same way. It is just increasing fire damage received for the enemy. And also Arson is dealing fire damage. All of these talents, all of these skills can be mitigated by high alert or fire protection. So I don't like his upper respect zero tree at all. Let's move over to Haradrim. Now at respect three, Black Serpent becomes very viable. I think if you want to use Black Serpent, you should start using him once you get him to respect three. Now here he starts to shine since evil men specialize a lot with him. Aradrim will give him lots of might but also his evil men will be more bulky. They get a certain percentage less damage received whenever you put points into Haradrim. And at max level it also gives you plus 15 might. This is so nice to have. But what is even greater is tribal tactics since now your evil man get a chance to follow up. Lots of damage output, but keep in mind you have to have evil man in your army. And then we also have evil alliance. This is further damage mitigation, but not just against physical damage, but also against elemental damage. I like this build a lot, but what is even greater is his respect 5 build, which works with Muma kills. Once you get a lot of Muma kill maxed out, you no longer attack your own units with your Muma kills which is huge, like this is the Black Serpent's strongest build, his respect 5 build. And then what you also want to have is some self-sustain with resupply, that will be his uh, main mechanic in his respect 5 build. 
This is also scaling with focus. In season 5, you will come to understand that this will be a strong mechanic with Muma kills and half trolls. I will show you that in the unit composition. And then he also has wild magic. Now this isn't that great, but it can be nice to have. Whenever you have too many points over, you may want to go for wild magic. But what I don't like about this is, first of all, if you only have one single stack of a unit, then it would make sense to go wild magic because this will trigger only twice in a fight being on round four and round eight. And I just don't think that it will give you enough value. Well, first of all, we will have three units in our army. And this shines the most when you have one unit in your army. And second of all, it will trigger only twice. So this is the reason why I wouldn't max out white magic at the start. Now let me show you how I would be building my Black Serpent if I were to play him in his respect 3 build. First of all, I would max out Haradrim with the follow-up over here. Tribal Tactics. I would be going back and forth with these skills, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to speed this up. And then I would move over to Evil Alliance, max this out, since this is flat damage mitigation against every source of damage. And then I would jump over to Horn of Harad, it gives some points over here, one point into Haven and go back and forth between these two again. Then I would go over to High Alert, just in case the enemy is throwing elemental damage against me. I want to have this maxed out. After having maxed out High Alert, I would jump over to Fire Dancer, put two points over here and then put one point over here. Just in case I have Corsairs, you know, Corsairs will benefit by this a lot. All right, there you go. This would be my respect 3 build. Now let me also show you my opinion in regards to his respect 5 build. Once I have him on respect 5 and I have access to Muma kills, I would do this. Max out lot of Muma kill. The good thing about this is, once it is maxed out, your Muma kills don't attack your own army, which is great. And in my opinion, this is his strongest build. Like there isn't any other build for the Black Serpent that is stronger than this. Then I would go over to resupply get some self-sustain for my Muma kills and my army in general. But Muma kills and half trolls benefit by this a lot when we are in season 5. You will see soon why when we jump over to the unit composition part. Then I would jump over to Horn of Farad since this won't just only increase the damage of my evil man but also that of my Muma kills. So Muma kills attack everyone in the enemy army we will have bursty AoE damage by maxing this out. So I highly recommend going with Horn of Harad after you have maxed out lot of Muma kill and the resupply. Then I would be jumping over to Haven just because we are already here to have immediate access to high physical damage mitigation. Max it out. From here on onwards it is kinda tricky. Like it depends against what you are fighting. Are you fighting against lots of elemental damage? then I would put points into high alert first. But if you don't have to fear elemental damage, just go over to Haradrim, put two points over here, and now you get to decide, do you want to be more tanky with your evil man, or do you want to give them a chance to follow up, so more damage for you. Me personally, I would go with evil alliance since this is 100% there. Tribal tactics is a chance of getting follow up, but this is already there. So this is my logic, which is why I would be going back and forth between Haradrim. Maybe put some points into high alert, just as I mentioned, when you are afraid of elemental damage. If not, you would be doing this like me. And here we go. But again, guys, just my own opinion. This is what I would be doing with my Black Serpent. But feel free to correct me in the comment section below. All right, it's time to check out the strength and weaknesses of the Black Serpent. Let's start with his strength. His first strength, in my opinion, is his strong burst damage with Horn of Harad. That is definitely something that is his main kit. His second strength would be that he is making his army very tanky. Be it against elemental damage, he provides protection with high alert, or be it against physical damage, he has lots of mechanics to mitigate damage, like Evil Alliance over here, or Haradrim over here, or Haven over here. His third strength is, if we look at his respect 5 skill over here, resupply, that he is providing self-sustain that 
skates with focus. This is a very strong self-sustain for a three-unit army. And last but not least, he has access to Muma kills. The only commander in the game who can use Muma kills in a multiple unit army composition. And these guys, like the Mumas, go so well with this skill set overall. Horn of Farad is giving them even more burst damage. His whole army is dealing so much damage with this combination. High AoE damage of the Muma kills paired with a bursty opener. Now let's have a talk about his weaknesses. I think his number one weakness is that he can be countered by burst damage mitigation. Skills such as Harbinger of Darkness from Mouth of Sauron that will just counter this for the first two rounds or let's say White Council and Mephrandir. It will just mitigate this damage by a lot. The second weakness would be that he is kinda open to CC. He can be stunned. Whenever he gets stunned, he can't have this skill bring value to him since he can't act, right? The same goes for Madness. Whenever he is affected by Madness, he will wail against his own army. So we have to kind of take care of that in the itemization part. The third weakness is evade. And I think that is kind of self-explanatory since how are we going to deal tons of damage if we can't get our hits in? So again, we need something in our items to provide that we play around evade. His last weakness would be since we are playing in his Muma kill build, these guys are very expensive. So that means he has high upkeep costs. But once you can take care of all these weaknesses, I think the Black Serpent is among the strongest commanders in the game. Now here is a little bonus information. Once I have unlocked his Respect 5 title, I noticed that I kinda started to like Black Serpent. It is a very strong build. Right now, I like to run him in this build. I even like him more than the Witch King. After having established what his strength and weaknesses are, it's now time to jump over to the itemization part. Now here we are at the purple gear part and I have decided to go with these items. I think the Cutlass is pretty much self-explanatory. Plus attack, lots of might and speed and melee might. You can't go wrong with Cutlass. Like I think this is his number one choice. You can also have the E-Selling Spear. This has Bane of Mounted Units and also plus attack for Evil Man. What else do you want? Like pick whatever you think you need more. I think both are equally okay. Then we have the scale mail, like this is bringing melee vigor, might, focus and also plus defense for your melee units. You will be having nothing but melee units in your army, this makes sense. It makes even more sense for your respect 5 build because of the focus, which will boost the self healing. Then we have the full helm, lots of might and also melee vigor for some additional damage mitigation. The bone mask can be a nice addition as well, I think in your respect. 5 build, maybe this makes more sense because of, because of the focus which will scale with your healing. And also army HP, always nice to have. And I kinda like manipulate which is giving a huge chunk of damage mitigation. Like both of these helmets are equally viable, maybe one is better than the other, I don't know. What do you guys think? I like, like in case I would be playing respect 3, I would go with the full hand. In case I am playing respect 5, I would be going with bone mouth. And then we have our accessories over here. Wizard's Firework would be my number one choice if I were to PvP just to cover my pursuit. I want to get maximum value out of my Horn of Harad. If the enemy evades, I can't do that. I am looking at Gil Galad. Kingly Kin is making it possible for his elven units to dodge. I don't want him to dodge, I want him to eat the Horn of Harad. But in case we aren't fighting lots of Gil Galads, it would make more sense to go with the worn out smoking pipe. It has self sustain, it is AoE healing. This will work exceptionally well in season 5 with the additional special effects of the Muma kills and of the half trolls. Moving forward to his golden gear, I have listed a few items over here. This is because depending on respect 3 or respect 5, you would like to go with different helmets or different chest pieces. In both builds, like in a Respect 3 and 5 build, you would like to have the gigantic hammer as well as the drums of Barad Dur. You have the option of choosing two special effects, being Iron Guard or Might of Soldiers. I would be going with Iron Guard since I like this self-sustain. It will go along with his Respect 5 skill which heals 2. So you will have 
two sources of healing. But Might of Soldiers could also make more sense to get even more value out of your Horn of Harad, more damage. As helmets, we have a few options over here, like the Easterling Helm and the Harad Cask. I think if you play the Black Serpent in this Respect 3 build, it makes sense to go with Resolve of Evil Man. You want to cover one of your biggest weaknesses, which is Stun. Easterling Helmet or Harad Cask can give you Stun Immunity with Resolve of Evil Man. You also have option of going with Fortitude of Evil Man, which will make you more bulky, but I wouldn't recommend that. I think you are much better off by covering your Stun weakness. So it makes sense. All of your Evil Man in your Respect 3 build will get a chance to resist stun. If you have maxed it out, it is 100% stun immunity. But I'm not sure which one is better, is it Resolve of Evil Man or Evil Man Overlord for his Respect 5 build. Since Respect 5 will not have 3 evil units in his army comp, but 1 Mumakill troop and 2 evil men, you might argue that it may be better to go with Evil Man Overlord. Whenever you are affected by stun or madness, this will give you, if you have maxed it out, minus 50% for the whole battle, like 10 rounds. I'm not sure which one is better with this Muma kill build, Evil Man Overlord or Resolve of Evil Man. Let me know what you think. And then moving forward to his chess pieces, I think if you are playing him in his Respect 3 build, Warbone Battleplate makes much more sense. And if you are playing Black Serpent in his Respect 5 build, I think it makes more sense to go with Massive Breastplate and Resilience of Giants. Muma kills are hard to conscript and the more defenses we give them, the more likely they are to survive and be a less pain on our economy. Remember, that is our last weakness, high upkeep costs. So this is how I would be gearing him. Now let's check out his Respect 10 item. I think the Black Serpent's Horn is among the few Respect 10 items in the game for T3 commanders that make a lot of sense. Just look at this. It has all the beautiful stats he needs. Might, focus, speed, plus attack for evil man? Oh boy, even speed for his evil man? The special effect, unstoppable assault. On round 6 onwards, you activate level 1 Horn of Harad again. At level 1, this gives you only plus 4% increased damage, which decreases over 3 rounds. But at level 6, it is plus 24% more damage. I think it is worth investing your items into this. I'm not quite sure if I want to have the Black Serpent's Horn maxed out or the Witch King's Helmet. I'm not sure about the Witch King's Helmet. Maybe Sunin's special item, but right now my feeling tells me I want to have Black Serpent's Horn maxed out. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys, let me know. Am I going crazy here? All right, now let's have a look and see which units make sense with the Black Serpents. So first I will be starting with a Respect 3 build. If you are playing him with Evil Man only, it makes sense to play him with a healthy mix of three different Evil Man units. That could be Dragoons, it could be Corsairs, it could be Halberdiers. Like this is highly accessible for every faction. Mordor, Isengard, etc. You can go with this. And then it really depends like how you're going to scale these guys. If you're fighting lots of ranged units, you of course want to have more dragoons. And if you notice that people are countering you with high alert, you don't want to go heavy on your corsairs. Instead, you would want to go more with halberdiers or dragoons. But if you have access to half trolls, like this makes a lot of sense for a respect three black serpent to go heavy on half trolls maybe less on your dragoons again this depends on what faction you are fighting against are you fighting against lots of ranged units go heavy on the dragoons but if not it makes always sense to go with half trolls now in season five your half trolls will get access to haven because that will be their third special effect whenever you get healed you will receive a certain percentage less damage and this can stack two times when you have maxed this out this skill it will be minus 15% damage received and that can stack two times. So we are talking about minus 30% damage received whenever you can keep the stacks up. And you keep the stacks up with the gear I have recommended to you. That could be with the smoking pipe, with the sustain, the AOE healing, that every other round you get healing received. And also with his respect 5 skill resupply, you get that healing on every round. 
That is a strong mechanic for half troll. But if you want to get maximum value out of your Black Serpent in your Muma kill build, this is what I would be running. Again, we have the half trolls just because of Haven. Right now I don't have it, but I explained it. And of course, Halberdier is easy to conscript, AoE damage in Season 5, strong counter to mounted units, which you will encounter a lot. And then you will also like to have Muma kills in your army comp. They will deal lots of damage while being tanky. And I think this is the best army composition for Black Serpent. But hey, all of you Black Serpent players out there, let me know what ideas do you have. Can I still improve the Black Serpent's damage with another composition compared to this? Let me share some battle reports with you just to see how the two builds are doing. So, Respect 3. This is my Respect 3 build, like I have described to you. I am in Season 4 and I play with Variax, which is giving me access to champions. And I have selected Rise Up as a special effect. This will give not just only my army 50% more increased damage, but also my commander, which isn't described here. So this is kind of misleading. Yeah, the Black Serpent isn't doing commander damage, so let's not go deeper into that. But yeah, this is what we have achieved against Dwalin. This Dwalin is outstanding, good gear. Scale with melee vigor, that makes sense. Full helm with melee vigor. If lane with Bane of Orcs. Alright, this is interesting. I expected him to have Ment over here. And his skills make sense. High respect level Dwalin. Yeah, this guy definitely knows what he is doing. And this is the result we have. Very hard Dwalin, guys. And here we are fighting against a Dine. Look what Dine is doing to us. This is a Kraken. Like this Dine. Wow. Such a monster. Axe of Kazatum with Motivate. Interesting. I expected him to go with Cleave. Durance played Fortitude of Dwarves. And even the Respect 10 item of Dine. Which makes sense. I think among the best Respect 10 item for a T3 commander. Arrow of Sprite with Iron Guard. Wow. This guy is totally devastating me. Rise up. More damage for his Guardians. And these guys are his main tanks. And here, rise up again. So plus 30% increased damage for his guardians. Here we have a Gandalf report. I am still in my Respect 3 build. And he has these items over here. Carver, Mithra Coat, Pepper's Hood, Wizard's Firework, High Respect Level Gandalf. His March Warden have this special effect, Charged Attack. All right. Didn't he max out his army? Like, I think he could have refilled his army even more. Maybe this wasn't fair enough. Here we have a fight against Gil Galad. Still in my Respects rebuild. Unfortunately, I don't have access to Haven. No smoking pipe for me in this case. I am with Drums of Moria. And this is the result. Gil Galad has his Heralds, Light Armor, and. Sink or swim. Interesting. I thought this Persian is the go to. Alright. And then Sentinels with Rise Up. Gilgalad's gear. Elven White Knight. Quilted Armor with Focus Protection. Horseman's Helmet with Resolve. Harp of Lothlorien with Elf Strength. And a meta build. Alright. So this is a strong Guild Gallant. Now let's also check out some Black Serpent Respect 5 build battle reports. For that very purpose I have reached out to Helz, who is a fellowship mate of mine. And by the way, thank you Helz, big shout out to you for sharing your reports with me. This guy has Krakenish level gear. Like his items are amazing. Massive breastplate, Easterling helmet with Fortitude of Evil Man. Drums of Baradur with Iron Guard and his skills over here. His units, Halberdiers, have Eradicate. His Muma kills have Remedy. And his champions have Divide and Conquer. So, what does his enemy have? Heralds, Light Armor, Bow Knights, Dispersion, and Sentinels with Dispersion 2. Gilgalad's gear is also very nice. Quilted armor with focus protection. 
Cask of the Submerge Isle with Aegis, Silver Harp of Rivendell, Might of Elf. And the talents are totally fine. Like this guy is a good Gilgalad, and this is what we have achieved with Muma kills. Wow. Now here is a fight against Gandalf. I am quite surprised about this outcome. Like, what is happening here? Gandalf has White Council, Mifrandir. He should be able to mitigate the damage of Horn of Harad, right? But look at this. The damage is just so strong that we achieved this result. Maybe Gandalf needed to have one more ranged unit in his army comp, which could be bow knights against his army comp. And here we have a report against a very strong tier 3 Aragorn. Look at his items. He has Axe of Khazad Doom with Cleave, Quilted Armor with Focus Protection, Cask of Pride with Terror, Fiddle of the Elders with Blitz. Lots of respect. He has maxed out all his damaging skills. This makes sense for T3 Aragorn. A very strong opponent, but this is what we have achieved. And here we have a fight against Galadriel. This is kind of funny since while the Black Serpent is very tanky, Galadriel has lots of self-sustain while putting out lots of focus damage, right? So both try to survive each other and this is the result. Isildur. Oh boy. Among the few Isildur reports I have seen. Let's check out what is happening here. Dunedain with steady will. Then Guard of the Tower with Divide and Conquer. Sentinels with Dispersion. This is Sildur. Cut this with Melee Might. Filtered Armor with Focus Protection. Horseman's Helm with Resolve. And the Box of Knowledge with Lore of the Arcane Leader. But still, Black Serpent has done more damage to this guy's economy. Here we have a Gimli report. Let's check out the special effects of his unit. The Guardians with Heavy Shield. So these guys are going to be his main tanks. His Ram Riders are tanking as well with Divide and Conquer. And the March Wardens who are dealing lots of damage with Gimli together. Put some points into... Yeah, Lockbearer, right. One point into Protect Elves, completely right. His Dwarven units are protecting his Elven units. That makes sense. Yeah, this is the gear he has. Warhammer, maybe Battle Axe with Concussion would have been better. Warborn battle play with Fortitude of Soldiers. Alright, this is nice. Osman's Helm with Resolve to keep his army madness resistant. That makes sense. Erebus Pride with Second Wind. Like, this is a strong Gimli. But still, this is the power of the Black Serpent with Muma kills. Here we are fighting against an Eowyn. High respect level for sure. Like, look at the gear of her. Cutlass. Scout's Mail with Deafness. Horseman's Helm with Resolve and to respect 10 item. High respect level because we can see lots of points invested into her skills. Wow, very high respect. But this is what Black Serpent with respect 5 build is capable of. Like we have done so much damage that this will take lots of time for this player to recover from this hit against his economy. But yeah, that should be it for his battle reports part. I think we get the gist of it. Black Serpent becomes viable once he reaches Respect 3 with his All Evil Man build. But if you want to get the maximum value out of Black Serpent, Respect 5 with Muma kills is the way to go. Black Serpent has an amazing Respect 10 item. It makes a lot of fun playing him. And yeah, I can wholeheartedly recommend Get yourself a Black Serpent, I think he is even better than the Witch King. And Hells, thank you again for providing your reports. And that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing. I see you guys next time.